Google is planning to roll out Universal Analytics to all Google Analytics accounts. Now this might be a bit scary for you since you're not sure what to expect and what this means to your organization. In this video, I want to answer some important questions about this transition and make it as seamless as possible for you. So why Universal Analytics, you might say? There are a lot of innovations that Google brings to us with Universal Analytics. You can track not just your websites, but also your mobile apps, uh, other, other digital devices. You can import data, offline data into your analytics. You can do a lot, of, lot more within the interface. You can configure uh, your search engines and other type of capabilities without making code changes. And once you upgrade to Universal Analytics, you will be leveraging all the new features that this new infrastructure provides. So here are some tips and best practices from the trenches as you plan your migration to Universal Analytics. Tip one, let's distinguish between transferring your property to the Universal Analytics processing technology and actually upgrading your code and your configuration. If you go to the admin section, Many of you will see this message from Google about upgrading to Universal Analytics. And basically, the step here, transfer not started, this is informing you that you can start the step of transferring your property. You're only transferring your property to the Universal Analytics infrastructure. Uh, this is different than actually making code changes and making configuration changes. Tip number two, no immediate action is necessary. If you haven't upgraded to Universal Analytics yet, or if you're not planning on doing so, Google will go ahead and do that on your behalf at one point in the near future. But if you do want to upgrade, click on this transfer not started link and follow the steps. Now, no worries. There's no harm to your data, no harm to your reports. There are no code changes required yet. So think of this step is like you have a whole lot of furniture in one room in a tiny apartment and Google is moving that furniture to a same room, same layout, but in a castle. So no changes to your, life, to your lifestyle, no changes to anything around you. It's just you're moving to a much more uh, highly uh, advanced infrastructure. Tip number three, let's talk code changes. GA.js, the classic GA, will still work for now. Your GA.js classic, for those of you who are technical out there, uh, that will continue to work in the new environment. While we still have some time to plan for the migration to Universal Analytics, you don't wait for too long as Google at one point will sunset the classic GA, the classic GA.js code. Tip number four, replace GA.js, the classic GA, with analytics.js. But don't forget, that's not all. Can I just replace the classic Google Analytics code with the universal code? So the GA.js with the analytics.js, this is for your technical people out there. The short answer is no, and the long answer is no. There's actually code level changes, there's syntax changes. So if you are planning, if you made that decision to move to upgrade to Universal Analytics, then you need to get your, your, web, your webmaster, your technical person, your consultant to plan that migration and ensure all your events, your custom variables, your uh, e-commerce tags, all, all the customization, a lot of the tags actually have changed syntax, so you wanna plan that migration accordingly. Tip number five, subdomain tracking is supported, but cross-domain tracking needs some code revisions. What if I need to track subdomains and separate domains? How does that work in, in Universal Analytics? Universal Analytics does support subdomain tracking without any code revisions. And you can use the default tracking code on two or more subdomains. To track across different domains, you need to make separate code revisions on the two different sites. For more details on the domain and subdomain tracking on Universal, check out our best practices and implementation guide on our blog. Tip number six, Google Tag Manager. Replace the classic tags with the Universal tags. What if I'm using the Google Tag Manager? Well, first of all, I congratulate you. Second, that makes actually the work a little bit easier. You'll just have to replace the GA.js code with the analytics.js code. And again, all the associated tags that you fire, such as events, um, virtual page views, the e-commerce tags. So you wanna make sure that you are using the universal analytics syntax when you make that upgrade within the Google Tag Manager. Tip number seven, new site, new app, go straight to universal analytics. What should I do for a new implementation? Go straight with universal analytics. If you're tracking a new site or a new mobile app, go directly with universal analytics. 
uh, whether you're doing this uh, natively or you're doing this through uh, the Google Tag Manager, choose that option of Universal Analytics when you're grabbing the code from within the interface and you'll be, you'll be set to go. Hope you found these tips useful. Uh, please share your tips with us as well. Download our free ebook for best practices for implementation and reporting on Google Analytics Universal. Thanks for watching. For more information on Google Analytics, contact us at info at e-nor.com or visit us at www.e-nor.com.